Hey there. So today uh, we're gonna be talking about yaw sensors on the BMW 325i, the E46 model. And what I have here is a yaw sensor or a uh, lateral sensor, which detects lateral movement uh, when the vehicle is cornering and it can detect uh, vehicle body roll and sway okay and the way the way it does that is there's an analog sensor inside of here and as the vehicle is being driven uh, and it's hitting road bumps or dips making turns and etc uh, this will move with the car like that and send a signal out to the to the DSC and ABS system and uh, to get access to this yaw sensor you have to remove the front driver's seat or what I did was I just tilted back there's just four bolts they're 16 millimeter bolts and then I peel back the, the carpet okay and you, you'll, you'll need to remove some trims and, and all of that as well and the sensor location is right down here It's in this bracket and it's held down by four, four uh, 10 millimeter bolts and the sensor sit, sits inside here held down by two five millimeter allen okay so here's the sensor this is the new one here's the old one and it sits right there like that okay and this can cause several issues such as um, the traction control light comes on, the ABS light comes on, and the brake light comes on, uh, sometimes all the time or intermittently. And what it'll do is if it, if it detects uh, enough body roll or body sway, it will send a signal to the ABS unit or DSC, Dynamic Stability Control Unit, and it will pulsate the wheels. And each wheel has wheel speed sensors, one for every wheel, and that's to prevent oversteering, understeering, and locking up the wheels. So that's what this sensor is for, is basically to prevent all of that. And this car is having an issue where uh, the customer is driving straight and it's sending the wrong signal to the ABS control unit and having the wheels pulsate where the ABS pump uh, energizes the solenoids and pulsates the wheels, uh, and locking up the wheels. They're, they're experiencing uh, while driving at normal speeds under 50 miles per hour that the car wants to stop on their own. Or like it feels like it's locked up, they said. So those are the symptoms and the cause is this yaw speed sensor because uh, we did a scan check and on the uh, ISTA D here it showed up yaw sensor uh, fault code or they call it a RPM sensor as well okay so this is how you test it uh, looking at the wiring diagram it's a three pin connector one two and three uh, basically your power ground and signal so number one is your signal Number two is your ground, and then number three is your your power, which is five volts, okay? The yaw sensor operates off a zero to five volt range, and we're gonna pin number one here, which connects to the RPM rate sensor, uh, which is also called the yaw sensor, and it's also communicating with the ABS slash DSC unit, see, right here, and up here is just the uh, power. Now. We're gonna pin here and see what the signal is. And according to the uh, FEB, uh, at vehicle stationary, there should be an offset of 1.8 volts. And what I'm seeing is, is 2.5 volts. So let's go over here. And we're gonna pin it here with the voltmeter. Okay, and then you're gonna put ground. Oops, I like to put ground right here at the door hinge that 
E10 uh, bolt right there. And then here's the connector. And here's my voltmeter. Okay, so let's connect it. And number one, pin one, is going to be the black line with red tracing and yellow marking. That's the signal. So can you see all that? Yeah. So first let's check our our supply. See five volts. That's pin number um pin number two. No, I'm sorry, pin number three. The black and red. And then ground is our brown. Ground is good. And then our black, red with yellow is our signal. Good. There you go. You see, it shows 2.5 volts right now. And if I keep it still and then I move the sensor around, the voltage should fluctuate. So it's normally mounted like that. And if the car is making a turn or it detects body roll, it should. Oop, I gotta turn that. The voltage should change. Oh, my voltmeter is messing up. There you go. 2.6 volts. Does that look better? Mm -hmm. No flashlight? Turn the back probe. So you want to back probe it at black and yellow. And then you're going to move it around. Sorry. I need a new volt meter. There you go. See, one volt, two volt. And I'm just moving it around. I'm simulating that the car is making a turn or it detects body row and sway, which is normal. It should fluctuate like that. Okay. At stationary, properly mounted with those four uh, 10 millimeter bolts, you should see 2.5 volts, just like that. The other sensor was not doing it, and it was an intermittent issue where uh, the traction light would come on and the ABS pulsates the wheels. Okay, so that's how you uh, check a yaw sensor. Uh, or a RPM rate sensor on a 2001 BMW E46. And by the way, the, uh, the E46 uh, models don't all have the yaw sensors. Uh, the only ones that still have it is the E46 up to production date September 2001. So after uh, September 2001, the yaw sensor changes over to a uh, DSC sensor instead, not not the yaw sensor here. So this car here, to, to know, you go to the, your your driver's door jam and check the uh, placard. Uh, it should show the production date, and this one is January 2001. So that means it still has the yaw sensor mounted at the driver's uh, bottom footwell. Again, anything after September. 2001, uh, the yaw sensor switches over to just a DSC sensor. It's a different kind of connector, and it, and it sits sideways against the, the rail here. It doesn't sit the same way. It does the same thing, but it's just a different sensor. You can't interchange it. And, uh, yep, that's on the E46 models. Uh, let's say check a yaw sensor. Thank you.